and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is okay and someone who is watching this, someone around the world, is sat under some lovely sunshine because here in England the weather isn't autumnal, it's absolutely freezing, it's just jumped straight into winter. So today it's been so black, it's just rained for about two days. Um, it's very dark outside, very miserable, so I hope someone somewhere is getting some lovely sunshine and I'm very jealous if you are. So let me stop harping on and let me show you exactly what I bought. I went to Asda, I spent about £29.55, didn't buy a great deal because I don't really need a lot, I don't want to buy cakes and junk, I'm still trying to stick to low carb kind of things. If you've seen what I eat in a week or what's a tea, you'll see that everything didn't, well, Nothing had rice, pasta, potatoes, so that is my main killer, that is what goes straight to my hips, so it's basically a very little haul. Anyway, I'll get on and show you. Um, bought some unsweetened soya because proper milk has a lot of sugar in it, so this is unsweetened sour, unsweetened soya, so I can have a drink of tea. Um, these are the creamy squares that I absolutely love, I live on these. They only had the lighter ones, they didn't have the normal ones. I've never had these ones before, I think they'll be okay. Um, I eat these just on their own, to be honest, or with a chunk of celery or pepper or something, but they're still on offer for a pound, which is great. I got my um, top side of beef, it's just three very thinly cooked slices of beef. My butcher doesn't do the very thin sandwich beef, so I get that from the supermarket and that's two pound. I got, put it the right way around, a little tin of the baked beans, which I always get. I know these aren't low carb, but I only have a tin about once every fortnight or something. So these are still 24p and these are the tastiest ones, I think, anyway. Um, I got the James Potter half a dozen eggs, which is still £1.25. The eggs that I got last week at, Aldi, at Lidl were horrible. They were absolutely awful. It was like they were water, they tasted of nothing, they were runny, they were disgusting, so I've actually thrown those away, which is a waste, and replaced them with these, so. I've bought some of the white gluten-free bread flour because I'm gonna try and do some little bread buns or some scones or something. Since being diagnosed as gluten-free or as a celiac, I've tried to make bread many, many times and I've failed miserably. So I saw something on Eat Well For Less, which is videoed, or which is shown on BBC One, uh, on a Tuesday night, I think, and there was a Celia out there and he made his own bread and it looked really nice and I thought, yeah, I'm going to try that. So I've got a few extra things that I want to put in there. So mm. I've got some, well, I've got a tin of chickpeas because in the gluten-free bread, they use the salted water or the brine. They must have, it must have something in it that is really good for gluten-free bread. Uh, and then with the chickpeas, they're not going to go to waste. I'm going to make some homemade hummus. I bought some easy peasy squeezy garlic because that's just so convenient. That is 79p. Um, I bought these little bags which have probably been out a long time, but they're breathable drawstring bags. There's three uh, and they were a pound. These are with the vegetable section. Um, they've probably been out ages in every supermarket. It's just with me not having my glasses on and getting out, I never see anything. So I'm going to put my fruit and my vegetables in those when I've done this video. I got one tin of the plum tomatoes just to keep in the cupboard and I got another tin of mango slices which again went shopping without my glasses on got them in light syrup don't want light syrup so I'll figure out something to do with them anyway but they won't go to waste I got a big pack of the quinoa corn puffs these are white cheddar I've never had these before I don't think there is are in the gluten free section not sure if these are low carb but these are 79p I got a little punny of the raspberries, these are 169. Hopefully they'll taste something because I got some from mm, Morrison's last week, I think, and they, they were hard, they were sour, they were absolutely vile. So hopefully these will be lovely because I got a punny in Marx's the other day, they were 250 and they were absolutely delicious. So hopefully these are just as good. I got some British baby plum tomatoes. Again, the little ones that I got were hard, they were sour, they were absolutely vile, so I've thrown them all away. And even the big tomatoes, which I've been getting recently, lasted about three days before three of them went mouldy. Uh, I don't keep them in the fridge, I don't know what they're doing, but they went in the bin as well. They, they were not good, so I'd rather pay a little bit more and go to Asda. That's why I decided to go to Asda today, because I was not satisfied with what I bought last week. 
Um, I bought the Collie Rice, which is flavoured with tomato, garlic and herb. This was on offer for £1.50. I think they're normally £2. I know this is probably a little bit lazy. I, I can make my own cauliflower rice, and I have done, but I end up making such a mess. It just seems to go absolutely everywhere, so I'm just going to buy it. Uh, and I'm working stupid hours uh, at the moment, and I have done for ages, actually. And this is just so convenient to put with something, so that's cauliflower rice. I bought a pouch of the coriander, the fresh coriander, that was 50p. I'm going to make some carrot and coriander soup because I've not had that in ages. So uh, I bought a couple of carrots, which I'll show you in a moment. I bought some lentils, which I've actually opened because I've put them in a slow cooker with some vegetables. Uh, I've started to make a gluten-free vegetarian cottage pie that I saw on Eat Well For Less, so I've never really cooked with lentils before. I was surprised at how much these were. These were £1.50. I thought lentils and pulses and things were really cheap. Um, I've used not very many. I don't know whether they're, like, they're low carb or not, but I thought I'd try them. Um, these definitely are recommended on a low carb diet. These are the pork cracklings. I love these. Um, they're really, really porky and nice. These are gluten free, so that's great. I got another pack of the um, low pass spreadable, which is still well, £4.50, so that's good. I got one garlic clove or one garlic bulb, and I think they're 25p. I got some watermelon fans, which I started already because I had one in the car. They are absolutely super sweet and delicious. They were a pound. I got one red onion because I'm eating a lot of onions with being kind of low carb. I got one courgette or one zucchini, as they like to call it in America, we call it courgettes. I don't know how much this was, but it's absolutely huge. I got two carrots, which I didn't put in the plastic bag. I thought, no, I'll save a bit of plastic. So I just bought them singly. I think these were 32p for two. Probably more expensive to buy them singly, but hey, it's, it's fine. And again, to save plastic packaging, I bought two parsnips because I love my roast honeyed parsnips. I think these were 19p, if I remember some going through on the till, 19p, I'm sure. Um, not food related at all, but for some reason I cannot find any forks. I'm running out. So I bought four from Asda. These were £2. They're just the cheaper ones. I'm not sure whether they're dishwashable safe, but if they're not, I'll have to go in the bin or I'll have to hand wash. Um, I bought a net of chestnuts you can tell it's coming up to christmas and fall time and autumn time because they always they always put these out and i love them i really do love them i pop these or slice them with a knife and then put them in the microwave or um put them in the in the oven for about 10 minutes on very hot and just eat them in the shells or i can make a homemade stuffing or just put them with some chicken so yeah you can only get these around about this time of year and christmas so they're only out for about three months which is sad and then not anything to do with food i got a spiced berry candle it burns for 48 hours it's quite a big jar not as big jar as the home bargains one but it's still quite a big jar it smells so christmasy and nice and this was two pounds i thought i'll treat myself to a new candle as i am obsessed with candles so i might do a little video on all the candles that i've got because i've bought quite a few so that's it, that's all about. It was £29.55, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, leave me a comment and have a great week.